For the following exercises, find the x and y intercepts of each equation. All right. So in order to answer a question like this, the first thing is, well, we got to know what the heck an x and y intercept is. So why don't we identify what it is? Let's just draw a quick graph. Here's our set of axes. And let's pretend that we draw, uh, we have some type of a line, right? Let's just pretend it's linear. And we know that the horizontal axis here is the x. And we know that the vertical axis here is the y. Now let me ask you a question. At what point on this red line does it intersect the y-axis? What point would you select? Did you select this point? If you did, you're correct. So, my question is now, remember, every point on this line, point here, point here, point here, it doesn't matter, every point has a coordinate to it, meaning an x and y value. My question is, do you know what is the x and y value for that point? I'd say, well, how the heck am I supposed to figure that out? You just drew a line on the paper, right? We don't have any equation or anything, and, you might, and I'd agree with you. But there actually is one of the two coordinates that we can identify. Do we know the x coordinate here or the y coordinate? Just look at it. What do you think? You might say, well, in terms of y, this is going down some value. Oh. Sorry, must be very popular. Um, it must be going down by some value, but by how much, I really don't know. Let me actually turn that off. Hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's proceed. So we don't know what the Y is, right? Because it goes down a certain value. I don't know what it is. But how about the X? Where's X equals zero? Well, X equals zero right at the origin. So wait a minute. This has an X value of zero. Oh, interesting. So basically, I'm going to write something like this. X equals zero. Y equals who the heck knows. In other words, if I were to draw the coordinate out, it would be zero comma who the heck knows. I don't, that doesn't even look like a question mark. There we go. Now, this happens to be the case always for the Y intercept. It's kind of almost counterintuitive, right? You think Y intercept, oh, Y must be equal to zero. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh X is equal to zero. Now, you probably will notice a pattern. What about this point? This point represents now the X intercept, right? And what do I know about that point now? Do I know what X is? Well, X would be some value here, right? I don't know what it is. Who the heck knows? But what about y? Where is y equal to zero? y is equal to zero at the origin here. So we know now for this particular point right here, we know that x is equal to who the heck knows, and y is equal to zero. So if I had to draw the coordinate out for this, it would be who the heck knows, comma, zero. And this will always be the case for the x-intercept, okay? I mean, we can probably find this given some more information, but if all you knew was this, and that's it, that's all we can figure out. Now, keep that in mind, okay? So let's move this on over to the side. Now, let's take a look at our equation, okay? Remember, we've mentioned this many times. F of x, you can think of that as simply saying y. It doesn't matter. That'll probably help you out. So if I just say f of x, a function of x, well, what is a function of x? You can call it anything you want. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. We'll just call it y. <laughs> so y is equal to negative x plus 2. Okay. Now, let's highlight or let's take a look at first. It doesn't matter which one, by the way, we look at first. But let's look at the uh, x-intercept. Okay. What do we know about the x-intercept? We know the x-intercept is the point at which y must be equal to zero. On this red line, there is only one point where y is equal to zero. It is right here, ladies and gentlemen. So I know then, if at this point y is equal to zero, what I can do is just plug in zero for y in my equation. So if I plug in zero here for y, what this is now telling me is that if I solve this or can solve this for x, it will then tell me the value of x when y is equal to zero. 
And isn't that what we want? Of course it is. So let's do it, right? So how do we solve? So we can simply just bring this x on over to the left-hand side by adding it, right? Plus, here we go. And we get now x is equal to 2. Awesome. So that's it, right? So now here we go. For this coordinate here, for the x uh, intercept, we would have coordinates now, and what I'm going to do is just erase this thing at the top. We would now have the coordinates of 2, comma, 0. Okay? Does that kind of make sense? Right? This is the x-intercept now. The, the, these are the coordinates of the x-intercept, but remember, the x-intercept will always have a y value of 0, so we can just call this, you know, the x-intercept, where x is 2. All right, y is obviously going to be 0. So this is the x, I'll call it int, x-intercept. I should have had a little more foresight here because this equation is indeed, uh, it has a negative slope. I simply drew a positive. I was just drawing something. I didn't really think about it. But what I'll do is I will, let's solve then for the y, all right, intercept. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to redraw this, this line, all right, according to this particular equation. So now we realize that we're going to de be dealing with the same equation. So we're going to have now y is equal to negative x plus 2. So now let's solve for that y-intercept, right? How do we do that? Well, same thing. We know with the y-intercept here, we know that x will be equal to 0. So that means if I plug 0 in here for x, in other words, y is equal to negative 0 plus 2, then if I know what x is in my equation and I can solve for y, it will then tell me the value of y when x is equal to 0. So here we got now y is equal to, oh, it also worked out to be positive too. Now that will make sense based on the negative slope. So watch. So this is then the y-intercept now. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is just redraw this now to kind of match, you know, oh, oh took the axis with me. What I'm going to do is just redraw this to match now the actual line. So it looks like the line should look something like this, ish. Okay, I'm estimating it, ish. So x here, let's say this is 1 and this is 2. So x is 2. And the y-intercept here was also 2. So notice, doesn't that look like a negative slope now? And it matches perfectly to the equation because the equation does have a negative slope. All right, so that's it. I mean, easy peasy. All right, so watch how fast we're going to do the second one. All right. G of x is equal to 2x plus 4. Who the heck cares that it says g of x? G of a function of x, what, is, what? Call it y. So y is equal to 2x plus 4. So now I want to find, let's say, the x-intercept. Remember, the x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. So now all you have to do is take that equation and plug 0 in for y. So we're going to have 0 is then equal to 2x plus 4. And we're now going to solve this for x. If you want, subtract the x on over to the left-hand side. So we're going to get negative 2x uh, equals then 4. And then divide by negative 2 across both sides. So we realize now that x will be equal to negative 2. Great. And this is now the x-intercept. Okay. Let's now do the y-intercept. Now remember, you can memorize this, that the y-intercept uh, is when x is equal to 0. So again, plug now in 0 for x, and it's going to be y is equal to then 2 times 0 plus 4. y will then be equal to simply 4, and there's the y-intercept. Look at how fast that was, right? And you could probably even do it faster. So, fast, 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 right? Okay. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe if you can. That'd be awesome, and we look forward to helping you out with more problems. Take care.